everybody welcome or welcome back to what to wear here and there and if you are new here welcome 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 i am your gracious host lashana and in today's video as you saw in the description we are going to be figuring out how to tame these flyaway gray hairs y'all <laughs> We're going to tame them. We're going to do the hair. It's going to be a get ready with me, get in these grays, laid down. Going to, you know, just whip up the hair really quickly um, because I'm going to an event. Um, and I don't want to embarrass my daughter, although she's always saying I could never do that. But she has an event and we're going to support her. So I'm going to be getting these flyaways squared away and we're going to share and uh sort of a get ready with me a little bit i don't do a whole heavy beat y'all i i don't but i do a little bit i like a little beat and then the ootd i'm going to share the outfit so i already prepped my nails took my polish off i'm going to do my nails I'm trying to figure out if i'm going to do this color <laughs> this um i believe i got from urban outfitters it's a very beautiful, bright, vivid spring color. Or I'm so in love with these shears by Sally Hansen. I love them. And I'm really a nude girl, as you guys saw in the last video. So going to share just three products I'm going to use. As I showed y'all in the last video. And I went out yesterday looking for replacements. And they didn't have them. But I did get my deep conditioner which someone did ask this is what i've used before and i've also used um a dominican hair product i have to find that i couldn't find that but this is what i use when i do deep condition y'all don't crucify me i don't deep condition a whole lot i really don't i don't if you've come over here you see i don't do a whole lot so this is for the minimalist hair girls and guys, this is the minimalist spot over here. But so this is what I'll be using. I also seal the deal with this as I shared in the last video. And this, and see, she's gone too. But this is a really great product. I like to use it. She really, and she does not flake. Y'all, see how she's gone? So you can tell. These are the products that I use the most. So if that sounds like something that you'll be interested in, stay alone for the ride, grab your coffee, your chai tea latte, or a bottle of water, and let's get into the video. Let's tame this hair, y'all. <laughs> okay, so we are back. Time to get ready with me and take down the hair and... So this is not the brush that I usually use. The brush that I usually use is in my work bag. So sorry about that, but it matches my glasses. No, this is the Felicia Lille Herwood brush. Brush with the best. This brush is a little hard for me. Like it's hard. No. Oh, this is what I want to share. I'm not going to use this brush because it's already tearing out my hair but before I grab it this so <laughs> this is how my hair slept overnight I put it up in a bonnet um but when I take it down you will see I have some tangles like I told y'all in the last video you know, even with the curls, even with the straight hair, my hair likes to get together, stay and pray. Okay. So what I do here, what I suggest, and those of you who are on here watching, we'll try this brush. You guys know when you have tangles, you start at the bottom, you work your way up, brushing downward so that you don't kill your hair. <laughs> and it should help take out... And sometimes what I do, I brush to the side like that. Can y'all hear? It's, I'm not going to stay with this long, but I'm trying to do this really quickly because we have somewhere to go, y'all. And I just need to get started. Yeah, So it did it. And it didn't pull too much of the hair out. 
actually think that was already in there. Maybe not. But yeah, so there. And brushing downward is the best way. So here we go. And I guess as we both get used to me doing this, <laughs> I'll figure out how to brush my hair and not knock these glasses. Who else out there? Y'all, I'm a woman of a certain age. I am over 40, closer to 50, and I don't need prescriptions. They won't give me prescriptions. So I just need reading glasses. So I've been searching the internet high and low, and these were gifted to me by a company called C C Life. I forget, I'll put it up on the screen. But 2C Life, I think. And they were, they're nice, they're funky. They kind of, I think, describe my personality. But anyway, for readers, just like, you know, you need readers to see up close to read a book or to look on your device. Well, because I'm looking in my device to film for you guys, I need my readers. I wish I didn't, but this is the case. I know I said I was not going to use this brush, but it's still in the trick. See back here, I feel some tangles. So overnight, I'll tangle a little bit. I will prepare a video to show you guys because someone asked how I put my hair up at night. How do I sleep at night? I do sleep with a satin pillowcase. Um, and I buy a set, so my husband has one too. And that, he loves it too. There's another tangle. So we're just going downward. Being very gentle, don't yank through. If you don't have time to do it, then you don't have time to do your hair. That's what I say. If you don't have time, like I told my daughter, while she's yanking, she used to yank through her hair. If you do not have time to take care, to take care, you don't have time, sis. So just pull it on back or put it on, put it on up in the clip until you have time. And I'll put a link to my clips. I have several of those they're in all the pretty neutral colors that i love um they're black i think gray khaki tan camel whatever so we're going down see there's one right there she's tangled do you see what i see <laughs> so we just pull through and sometimes when i find one like that i even i just kind of hand pick and pull it apart because we don't have time to be yanking our hair out because of knots and I used to think that happened because it was split and holding on to each other but not the case all the time it's just that it likes to make friends that's what I said it likes to make friends and stick and stay stay and pray so as you see now we're moving down the hair shaft and we're getting it done. All right, so because I flat ironed it the other day <clears throat> with you guys. Okay, I gotta pull that in the back. Coming down. See, there's one, I feel it. Um, Because I flat ironed it the other day with you all, it's still straight because I put it up. And see, this is how much shedding, I don't know if you can tell. That's how much comes i believe with this brush if i have my pink one that's a softer it, it has more give i wouldn't have to worry about that so really quickly we're gonna use my products that i shared earlier to get these sides fixed people say edges i i say sides <laughs> i don't know so i'm going to share what i'm trying to do so let me take these off and I'm going to do my edges, my sides. So what I like to do, let me grab my brush that I love so much. And this, I know you guys are gonna ask, I think this is a goodie brush. I think it's goodie. I think y'all, you know, most of the brushes are. No, I won't say that because there's so many brands. I'll try to find and put a link for y'all. If not, I'll find one close to it. I hope I can remember. So as you see, the edges are still pretty straight from 
when I was here with you all last. And I hope that you can see. And see it already kind of has a little swoop. A little twirl curl that I do. Um, because it's trained to go that way. And this one usually goes this way. So I'm going to begin to do that. So what I use... And I know this is backwards, guys, but I'm going to put it up on the screen. This is Senora Rizada, and it's by Miss Jessie's. And we love Miss Jessie's. We love Miss Jessie's. I love Miss Jessie's. And so, now let me tell you, I. it's rare that I use all three at the same time, but sometimes I do. So today, I we're going to see what I do. We're going to see how well it works so usually I could just lay it down very simply with her with Signora Rizzata it says the numero uno suave gel period as the all the girls are saying as the young people say my daughter I don't think she says that anymore she'll be like mommy that's played out once old people start saying it it's over so as you see, it's that consistency. It's very lightweight. And I just take a little bit, y'all, just like that. And I use just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. And really, that's too much. But I use, I put the whole thing. You're able to see what I'm doing. I start out with that little bit, just like that. And sometimes she's nice and she plays very well with my hair. And sometimes I do a little more. This I love because it does not flake at all, at all. At all, at all. And she's so soft and easy to work with. So as you can see, what I like to do is that. And so first I take it back, just like that. You see how she's laying down real pretty, right? She's laying down, laying down. So I'll do that and then I do whatever. You can do whatever twirl curl you like. Mine, like I said, is very used to it. So I turn her up like that and then I will get my spray. This is on here. And I just do little pumps. And that's just to set her down. Set her down. Set down. And I'll do a little bit here. I, whoops. I usually don't do a whole lot of spray here. And see, everybody's laying down, playing nice. So the other side, I'm gonna you, I'm gonna show y'all the Lotta body, um, and how she works. So, oh, well, this is what I'll do. You'll see how I use all of them together. If they're if she's still laying up a little, I don't know if you can tell. If she's standing up a little, I'll just hit it. Push it down a little bit. And then go ahead, tame the rest of the flyaways down. Get a little bit more to get those silver white flies, flyaways. And then, what happened to my brush? Okay. I'll brush her down. And if this eye were done, I brush it all down. And I'll just pull it back in a ponytail. And then hold my hand on it a bit. I feel the tackiness go away. And then I'm straight. So, but sometimes you can just use the um, Milk and Honey Tame Me and 
I'm just going to show how that works as well without using the Signora Risada. Because you can, and I don't know which would work best for you. It depends. And I think a lot of this edging process is the type of hair that you have or the texture. Don't ask me what my texture is. If you can tell by how my hair is behaving, then you tell me, sis, because I don't know. I'm not well versed in that. I, because like I said, I'm not a hair guru. I don't know. I just do my hair and my daughter's hair. I don't know. My daughter might be able to tell me, but see how I'm just using it. And I'm just, actually, I started ahead of myself, but I started already sculpting down the little swoop that I do on that side. So I do a twirl curl over here and I do a swoop de doo over here. And then we just brush this down. I love how that little white streak is so pretty to me. And then I just come and do this. Not, not too harsh. I'm not, you know, 18, 15. The young girls be going all the way down their foreheads. You know, that's, that's so funny to me. I tell my daughter, I said, don't, you don't need all that. You don't need to slick bangs down on your forehead. Those are bangs, not, not baby hairs or whatever they call it or edges. Let's put a little bit up here at my, now these are a little unruly right here. So I do like to use the lot of body when it comes to those. And if they're still standing up, what up right here, I will put a scarf on. And I'll put a scarf on anyway. But I keep brushing down because I'm still working on it. So, you know, they get unruly because that's what they do. They've lost their color and they're just raising their hands and what, what happened? I lost my color. <laughs> well, I have figured out a way to tame mine and hopefully... This helps you tame yours too. Let me know in the comments if this works for you. Or alternatively, let me know in the comments what works for you. Because this may not work for you. This may not work for everyone. So I've already laid down, do what we do. And then I'm just going to cover my hair, my skin. And then spray a little bit there. And then go over it again. Sometimes... It works with just the two products. So we did it. I'll put my hand there to see how tacky it feels. Feels like it's drying. I will more than likely come back in with Miss Girl here. You see, I've used her up um, because I just want her to really lie down right there. Just lay it on down, baby. Lay it on down. That's what we're gonna do. So get her squared away on this side. And then I'll pull back. And you ladies will see. I have not used my argan oil since the last time we met. <laughs> So I'm going to bring out my trusted Shea Moisture 100% Argan Oil and just do two pumps and just go down, 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 down. Okay. So That way it should be ready. And what I'm going to do right now is I don't really brush it too harshly, but just to rub the oils in because they need to be evenly distributed. Distribute evenly, girl. And now because I brushed it already, I can go the normal brush uh, route on the side. I don't have to go vertical. I can do horizontal. Is that right? Okay, so that means she's brushed in. 
And then what I'll really do is just twirl it around. I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm twirling it around. Y'all see all that white hair at the nape of my neck? Probably, yes. And I have it in a bun. And I had a pony holder here. But I don't see, so I'm just gonna take one of these huge bobby pins and just stick it down in there. I'll get another one because she's gonna fall down. And pin it up so that the moisture can kind of do what it's gonna do. And it's loosely, it's loosely done. I don't want to create a style. I just want to pin it up nice and loose so that that's done. And then you can either wrap it up. As you can see, I missed a few. I missed a few little stray hairs, but nothing that a lot of body cannot fix. And this is how I have laid her down. It's nothing drastic. I didn't overdo it. I wanted to lightly do it. Um, if your hair is really not very happy with lying down, even with using a scarf, then you can um, take a flat iron and just go there. But like I said, I don't use a whole lot of heat. So this is what I do, okay? So now it's time to start getting my face ready to go where we're going and let's get started. Okay, ladies, so I'm about to do the makeup. I did wrap my hair down um, just so it wouldn't interfere and I wouldn't, you know, mess it up or anything. But I'm gonna start out doing my under eye um, with this long wear concealer um i don't know if if it's black radiance that's what i want to say but this i don't know if this is like extra moisturizing or not <laughs> don't ask me i do have others that i really like um i have a duo this is by huda beauty Woo! And today, I think I just want to use Black Radiance. I also have, whoops, um, this, this is foundation, but I use it under my eyes because like I said, I don't go hard with it, y'all. I don't go hard with a lot of it. So anyway, let's just get into this, get ready with me, okay? kind of evens out my under eye because I'm tired I went to the office yesterday you can still see it on my face <laughs> but that's okay you know it's okay to look tired sometimes that's why you have makeup to lift up and brighten right that is exactly why please don't come for me all you MUAs and all that I do not have on a primer because I am not that girl. I don't use all that stuff. Don't use it. And forgive me in advance because I just looked for my little setting powder puff. Um, I just purchased it. It's a little triangle in here. I hope I can find it to use my Huda Beauty. Huda? Huda Beauty. Um banana powder otherwise i'm gonna have to use a brush who wants to do that so here's a super lighter um color and i will try to put links to these under the description box i just put a little tiny dot and it's gonna look super bright y'all but once we're finished it'll be all done it'll all be said and done 
See what I mean? It's light. Just to brighten the inner corners of my eyes. I'm looking at the mirror over here. I have to figure out a way to set this up. So, we've done this. Okay. <laughs> Just the excess, but I'm not, you know, doing all that. And then what I use, what I've been using, Super stay 24 hour to go under my eyes to set it first. Some people may think it's overkill of what I'm about to do, but I do it. And I just press it in and lay it down. Okay. And my eyebrows are prepped, but they're not done yet. At the end, what I will go over my under eyes with is this Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish. It is so pretty. Actually, I'll do it now. I'm about to start on the next step. I just want to add these really cool Milani whoops, Milani lip oils are so good. Fruit fetish. Can you guys see that? Fruit fetish. I love this stuff. So, so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so my eyes are pretty much prepped. For now, I'm going to go ahead and use this um, eyeliner by NYX or NYX. And I don't know if this is, what color is this? This is black and I usually don't use black um, for the whole brow. I like to do a brown, a darker brown, but I ran out and I like this Morphe um, pencil. And I think the color is, have it here but I don't like the point on it it's Morphe I do like Morphe guys but so is Java Java is so good it's like the perfect brow color for me but it has this kind of tip versus the other one see how the other one is more pointed and I don't like that so I don't really use it much don't really use it much at all. Can't even get it back down. Okay, there we go. So, but I might again, of course I will. But anyway, I like this type of point. And until I can find the same one in NYX that Java, I mean, yeah, that's in Morphe, I will just use this. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. This is the first time. Actually, my second time doing makeup on camera. But... <clears throat> I'm just going to do light strokes here. And I know you guys did not ask for this, but I figured I couldn't just slick down my edges and be done with the video. So I just thought I'd do this. So just making those quick, short strokes upward that mimic eyebrow hairs. and shape them to whichever way I'm happy with. I think this lighting is okay. So I'm gonna do the other one. Well, I take that back. Someone did ask me to do this. I'm sorry, over on TikTok. And I guess I gotta go over there and grab her and tell her. I did it over here. <laughs> I don't do a lot on my lips. I'm a gloss girl, but if I find some lippies that I like, I will share. And But one of the lipsticks that I do use, it's a nude, and it's called Brown Sugar. And I believe this is Ruby Kisses. Everything is rubbed off. 
So I'll probably be adding that in my lip today along with this lip pencil. And it is, whoops, it is called One Size Lip Snatcher. And so I will do that. That'll be all at the ending of my... Okay, so I am using this palette for my eyeshadow. It is by Morphe, it's 35D Desert Bouquet. And I'm wearing a sage green pantsuit. So this has a really beautiful set of greens that I love. And as you'll see, I pretty much use those too. So we're gonna use those. And I'm all over the place, guys, sorry. Cause I'm doing a few things, trying to multitask off camera. So I'm stopping it and starting it. So, but anyway. Voluminous um, lash primer and this Too Faced Better Than Sex Brown on my lower lashes. I love, look at the um, bristles there. I love it. Place, can you see if it's showing up? This is Sculpt Shade, Sculpt and Shade Brow Pen, but I use it as a liner, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm out of order, but it's gonna be okay. While that is drying, I am going to go in with this Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. I like to use these two colors to contour. And I just take this brush. This is new and I'm just learning to use this to contour. So let's see how that goes. I found my little brush and the Huda Beauty, or do I want to use RCMA? This is for no color. I'm going to try this today. this Milani mascara out and it gives you like little tubes on your lashes they're they're funny because when I get in the shower and wash my face they come off little tubes literally
with my nose. And there is the mascara. I hope this lighting is, I don't know. I, is that better? Okay, so let's finish up. I'm done talking, I'm just gonna finish getting ready. This is pretty much the look. Lately, for my pictures, I've been using this as kind of a finisher. This is by Sephora, and this is the Micro Smooth Powder. And I hate that it doesn't come with like a little puff or anything, because I'd rather use a puff. But all the girls say you should be using a brush, y'all. So I'm going to go back in because it's still darker toned. I love it. Um, the color, I'll put it down below because I'm not pulling my readers out and doing this, but I'll just tap in on my forehead here. My Charlotte Tilbury. So I have number three that I put underneath of my eyes to finish off for an airbrushed look because I have some creases and I have like little baggage. And then four, I usually top off over here in my cheek area. So I'll do that really quickly. And I don't use a setting spray because I kind of had an allergic reaction. I broke out. Like for those of you who are new here, I have pretty sensitive skin. So what I do is I take my sponge here and I just put a little water around the tip, as you can see that, and I squeeze it out. I get it damp and then I just, I just press in. So I feel like it gives me the same effect as if I've sprayed my face. I'm just pressing in with my water on my sponge. That's that. Now, let's get the outfit on and we will see what the hair is gonna do. I left the water on. Oh, the lips. You guys wanna see what I do? Thank you, ma'am from TikTok. You know who you are. <laughs> so, I have already put the lip oil on and I like that effect. So I'm just gonna do a little dab. And let's see about taking our hair down. So we are laid. Okay, it and it looks natural. It's not like stuck to the head. And this cute little soft bun is nice, but I'll probably wear it down. Cause my daughter likes when my hair is down. And that's the look. I'll probably like tap my lashes a little bit to make sure they spread out a little bit. But that's that y'all. So I'm gonna get my outfit on and I'll just probably insert a little of my what to wear here and there style twirl. <laughs> to share my OOTD and that is it. <sighs> Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being here. Until the next time, I love you from my heart. Bye for now. Watching Black Velvet Luxury and just music all Black Velvet Luxury. Hey guys, get dressed with me and style we. So I'll be back in three, two, one. Hey everybody. So this is the final look. Stay tuned for pictures at the end and a little twirl twirl. I love this linen set. It is perfect for brunch. It's perfect for the office if you're you know, willing to have a little fun in the office.
Thank you.